Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Sam, Contagious Collection. I am uh, back with another video. I got some uh, pickups from the flea markets. Got some garage sale pickups. I got one uh, eBay package that I want to show, as I said in my previous video. Um, this is a PS1 game that I don't see or never have seen out in the wild. Or uh, I never even hear people talking about it. I'm not sure if it's a rare or uncommon game, but just don't come across it. Never had. So I decided to pick it up. Um, I'm just going to get right into it. Try to make this uh, video as short as possible. So hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Uh, first thing I'm going to show is some um, garage sale pickups. Uh, these are actually comic books. I never was into comic books as a kid or as a teen. But uh, I decided to pick them up. You know, I've been thinking about it. Try to give them a read to see how the stories are. I mean, they just look really cool for a dollar a piece. I couldn't pass on it. Uh, the first one that I found was uh, The Avengers Assault on Sanctuary. Uh, I think this is like a 1985 issue because it says somewhere here. Uh, yeah, I think it's an 85. You can tell just by the... The way it is, even the pages, they look like kind of yellowed up a little bit. Or from like the oldness of it. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, next one I found was uh, Last Stand Hero. These ones are actually in, in the plastic sleeves with the cardboard on the back. I guess, I guess that's like cardboard or something. Last Hero Standing. Uh, next one is uh, The Darkness, what does that say, Legacy of Hulk? Something like that, that just looks freaking amazing. Look at that artwork, that's, that's really cool. And this one uh, is uh, Death Blow. Yeah. That, that's just straight badass commando style. <laughs> yeah. So a dollar a piece on those, and I also found this with it too, just randomly going through like uh, uh, the bins, it was some lady selling these stuff, and this is actually a Xbox high definition AV pack for the original Xbox, so basically you need these, um, uh, you need the uh, high definition AV cables for it, so you plug it into your, um, your original Xbox, and you get basically higher quality, uh, you know, picture. I think, um, I did a little research on it. If I'm not mistaken, um, it was, it, it said that, uh, you, you get from anywhere between 480 to 1080p. I don't know, but the graphics as itself on the games for the original Xbox, they still look amazing. And, uh, with a higher definition, it's just, it's just going to be really nice. And I'll be looking forward to that. I'm going to end up getting the uh, um, cables for it. It's pretty cheap online. And um, next thing I'm going to show is, yeah, this is from another garage sale. Um, I paid $20 for this lot. And I also uh, found um, Super Mario Sunshine disc only. I have that complete in my condition, in, in my, in my condition, <laughs> in my, uh, in my collection, and it's in really nice condition. So I already flipped on um, the Mario Sunshine disc only, so I could get, you know, games that I want that I need in my collection. Um, as it goes. So for those five games, basically, I pay twenty dollars. Uh, the first game is uh, Nin. Is for the GameCube Wave Race Blue Storm. Complete. It's in really nice condition. The disc is like, as I like to say, tic tac. Very fresh, clean. Uh, the next one is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I actually already have the, uh, had this, but this one was in better condition, the disc, than mine. And the one I had already flipped, so that's good. Um, no manual, just has the special offer insert. So that is that. 
And uh, next one I found was uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, Brawl for the Wii. The disc uh, is scratched. It has some scuffs right there. I took a chance on it. It didn't end up working. You play like a little bit of it. I tested it. Um, and uh, it just says this cannot be read after a while. It just doesn't read it. So I'm going to try to save it. Uh, hopefully get it, uh, you know, resurfaced, whatnot. Try to save it. I already have this in the collection, but just want to get it to flip it. Make some extra cash to get games that I want. And uh, next game. This game was um, pretty funny. It was all over, the f all over the place. Like the characters that you try to catch in the game. Which is kind of funny, thinking about it. Um, the first, I found uh, the case for it. There was no manual, nothing in it. So I just wanted a case, try to get it for like a dollar. Usually empty cases that I want, that I need. And then uh, she, uh, the lady said, oh, the game has to be somewhere around here. So I end up finding a game for it. And uh, manual... I don't know. She said I might have it. I might not have it. And uh, basically what happened was the manual was in a plastic like the Ziploc bag for whatever reason. Sitting like this. And she said, oh, that's for Rayman or Raymond, whatever. And I flip it around. Well enough, it's the manual for Ape Escape 2. So... I ended up completing the game on the spot, which is funny. Uh, overall, in pretty decent condition. I have this also disc only, but I wanted to complete it. So I could, you know, just having it complete is, is cool. It's great. Overall, I think this was mine. Yeah, I, I had this resurfaced. Uh, the other one I'm probably going to flip. And uh, yeah, I ended up. Getting Ape Escape 2 complete. I have the first one, Greatest Hits, already. I also have Ape Escape 3, disc only. So, you know. Looking out for the case on that as well with the manual. So yeah, all these games. Uh, 20 bucks with Mario Sunshine, which Mario Sunshine already flipped and I made my money back. So these pretty much came out to be free. A little profit too on the side. And, um, yeah, that was that. Let's put that there. <clears throat> uh, next I'm going to show is, oh, I forgot about this. I found this actually, uh, before all these, but, uh, this was an old guy on, uh, basically selling these games. I don't know where he got them from, how he got it. Doesn't matter. And, uh. I noticed one game that really like jumped at me. I was like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" And original price was sixty. Uh, he was asking like actually seventy five dollars for all three games, PS one games. Uh, one of them out of the three was Resident Evil Two, which I already have, and I flipped that. Uh, so I ended up texting him, and then you know I said, "What's the best you could do if you could you know drop the price a little bit?" And uh, the best he said I could do is like $68, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I paid about like $68 for him. And out of the three, like I said, Resident Evil 2 is gone. I already flipped it because I have that in my uh, collection. Digimon World 2. How badass is that? It's in really nice condition, actually. Not bad. I think it has some uh, scratches here and there. But overall, it's pretty clean. All of the games are uh, black label. Even the Resident Evil 2, that was black label too. And the next game that I found was this bad boy right here. Mega Man Legends 2. I still can't believe I have this or I found this. Um... This is actually a really tough game to find, especially in the wild. Or I just, I'm surprised nobody even jumped on this. Um, that I, I found it on Craigslist. Uh, black label, nonetheless. 
and it has you know some scratches here and there but uh, yeah overall it's in pretty nice condition I can't complain at all I'm just oh man like I still can't believe I found this I don't know how rare or um, actually I don't know how accurate rarityguide.com is where uh, you could check the, the rarity of a game I checked it recently and uh, it was showing that this ha this is or has the rarity of 94% which is damn that's pretty crazy so yeah these great games definitely going into the collection and Resident Evil 2 was also with this like I said I flipped it so I think it was a, it was a good price for these two alone I mean that was a that was a pretty good deal I'm glad I got them uh, next I'm gonna show is uh, these are the rest I think are flea market pickups yeah so uh, let's bring this pile over here first game that I found I know this guy he always um, you know hooks it up gives me pretty good deals and uh, the first uh, few games, he was there was like uh, Game Boy games. I got this lot from him. Basically, all these games for thirty bucks, something like that. Uh, the first game was uh, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle Three, Castlevania: The Adventure, Mario Party DS. Which I had the case with the manual. Come on, open up. That's why it's always a good idea to get uh, these things, you know. So now the game is complete. Put that in there. That aside, and. Uh, also got the uh, Lunar Knights. I gotta look out for the case for that. And uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. So I paid 30 bucks for all that. The funny thing was at first I was helping the guy. He had like more games he said. The DS games and stuff. He uh, took it out. They were like in a, in a, like a plastic glass case. He had like a truck. So I was helping him out. I, well, we carried out the case out of like a pickup truck. Or it was like this big truck. And then there's this guy that's always there. I always see him. He like gets shoes all the time and stuff like that, whatnot. I guess he picks up video game things too. Uh, just he just comes and I had these two games on the side like this, and he comes and grabs them. I'm like, yo, man, what are you doing? I already got that. You know, I put it aside. So he puts it back, and then uh, he just goes, oh, okay, I didn't know that this and that. I'm like, no, I already got it. So just you know, and then he puts it back, and he end up. He ends up leaving. I guess he was with his friend or whatnot. He didn't know, but it's it's all good. So I was like, yeah, I was really looking out, especially for this game, uh, Castlevania. And I love my Castlevania games. So yeah, 30 bucks for that. And plus the Mario uh, DS, I had the case for it, so now it's complete. So, yeah. Very nice. Side there. Uh, next, uh, this was just a random. I guess he was a reseller or whatever. Uh, I had the case. I had the case for this for a really long time too. And a case, I uh, ended up finding it at a thrift store. It was empty, and uh, so I'm glad I I found the game. So now it's complete, which is uh, Lunar. Uh, Dragon Song for the DS, as you can see. I think I even got this case for free, or I paid like a dollar for it. So either way, the game is complete. I think this is a yeah, it's a RPG game, and I love my RPGs. So that aside, another game completed, which is great. And uh, next. I am going to show is I was walking to another table 
And then I see this Nintendo game just randomly sitting there with like a, a bunch of other uh, Genesis games. I asked the guy, do you have any more? He said, no, I already sold them all. And uh, I just ended up picking up this. He was asking like 10 bucks for it at, uh, at first. And um, I ended up getting it for six bucks. It was just sitting on a table like this, the sleeve. And it's uh, Wolverine for the NES. Overall in really nice condition. And the label is really nice too. So, yeah. I got this for six bucks. Not bad. Okay, next I'm going to show is... Uh, this game right here. I got it for five bucks. Def Jam Vendetta. For the PS2. Uh, not the best of the series. I think Def Jam New York... Fight for New York is better, and I already have that, which is, I have it on the Xbox. Overall, it's, uh, okay, not bad. Has some fingerprints, maybe some scratches here and there, but, yeah, overall, it's in really nice condition. Five bucks, that was a good deal, too. And this game, usually, I don't go for, um, uh, sports games at all, but, um, this player as a kid was like, was like an idol to me, man, I, 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 I really like this player a lot. I used to have the uh, uh, his his hat for it, like a team hat, and all that. And I still have like the basketball cards that I collected as a kid. I still have them uh, in a folder, which is uh, is a Genesis game. Uh, David Robinson's Supreme Court, the Admiral. Yeah. So this is like. Really nice. It's overall in very nice condition, actually. And, um... Not bad. The manual is really nice, too. I'll probably give it a play one day, but, yeah, like I said, this, this thing's like straight nostalgia. This player, uh... It was, like, my favorite player as a kid. Growing up. David Robinson, Supreme Court. Yeah, he was asking like uh, five bucks for it. This is at a different table, different uh, vendor. Uh, I ended up getting it for three. Talked him down, but uh, yeah. Don't often come across, you know, complete games, but uh, yeah. Another, you know, complete game for the collection, which is cool. In the case and manual. All right, next I'm going to show is... Uh, this one's non-video game related, but it just jumped at me. I said I had to pick it up. And actually hold pretty good value, too. Uh, I got these for five bucks a piece. Tin Case, brand new, limited series. Uh, Disney movies, cartoons. The Hercules. The Hercules. Uh, Hercules, actually. And um, uh, The Emperor's New Groove. They're both brand new, limited series, and it says right there too, uh, includes Certificate of Authenticity, which is cool. So yeah, five bucks a piece, ten bucks for both, not bad at all. That was really good. And next, another nostalgic thing, which was really cool. I used to collect these as a kid, as a... Uh, these uh, Garbage Pail Kids, all new third series, um, seven packs, I got it for five bucks. Um, I don't know if I'm going to hold on to them, I probably will. Uh, one of them was like kind of opened up, as you can see right there, a little bit. Um, you know, There's a stick of gum in every one of them, but these were from like, as you can see, uh, I should... It should show the year somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, 1986 Tops Chewing Gum. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Garbage Pail Kids. I used to get these off, like, uh, I think they had them, uh, they would sell them on, like, ice cream trucks and stuff like that. As you can see, it says 25 cents cheap. So, yeah. I had to, I had to get these, man. These, these, as I said, I... I used to collect these um, 
as, as a kid. And then they have like the, the, the ones with the stickers as well. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? Yeah, I think it was seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Five bucks for these. Yeah. They're kind of worn, but hey, you know, getting something from the 80s and new stills. That's pretty cool. Five bucks for those. And uh, I also got these uh, movies, a dollar a piece, um, which is, uh, is a Clint, East, Clint Eastwood movie. I seen this a while back, like around the time when it came out. And um, amazing movie, man. Just, just a great movie. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, a really great movie. And um, a dollar a piece. As, as I said, and the next one is uh, uh, Taken, another great movie, action thriller type. Uh, Public Enemies, this is about uh, the bank robber, uh, John Dillinger. Johnny Depp plays it. Freaking amazing movie. They just aced this damn thing. And uh, I love my gangster movies, these type of like bank robbery movies. It's just straight action, man. Great movie. Uh, another, I'd say, yeah, this is... Uh, I don't exactly know what year this is from, but... I don't know. I'm trying to see. Usually, Yeah, it's from 98. I'd say it's a classic. Why not? Broken Arrow. Another great movie. And uh, Indiana Jones and the uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I know there was the original first three, um, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then the two other ones. I'm still looking out for those. I like my DVDs, especially the old movies. This isn't, um, well, almost going to be 10 years. This was from 2008, I guess. So, yeah. Still, I'm looking out for the other three, too. Great movie, adventure movie. And then these movies a dollar a piece. So, yeah. Usually, that's what I usually get for a uh, dollar a piece on DVDs. Like, at most, two to three bucks for, like, Blu-rays. Sometimes they try to overcharge, but I don't, yeah. I don't go for it. All right, anyway, uh, next I'm going to show is, uh, these were uh, Sunday's. Uh, pickups from the flea market and uh, I'm gonna get right into it this guy he always hooks it up uh, he's a reseller uh, as I say and encourage you guys get good with resellers man not everyone budges but this guy always hooks me up and it's I'm, I'm really glad I came across this guy he had basically three bins. I was already like low on cash. And um, I ended up picking these up for pretty much um, 90 bucks for everything that I got from this one uh, seller. And he had like two or three bins. But he pretty much um, has like a lot of games. And next time I go, I'm going to pick up some more stuff if he still has it. And he keeps it like in a back where he doesn't bring it out like to like sell for everybody. I don't know. Or I guess he, he doesn't have any room. But uh, I ended up picking these. Which one was it? Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to remember here. Oh, yeah. The first three. This was actually out in the front. Uh, this game as well. So I picked out these three first, and uh, the first game was uh, Batman Rise of uh, Sinzu, Sinzu, however you pronounce that, not sure, uh, for the PS2, complete. I think the game is in, is in pretty good condition, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, not really, actually. has some scratches, uh, but I'm sure it'll play. Yeah, I think this should be a fun Batman game. It looks pretty cool. 
kind of even looks like a little bit like Teen Titans, like the gameplay of it. But uh, I don't know, it might. Yeah, it looks it looks cool. Cool. I'm gonna uh, check that. Give that a play. Check that out. Uh, next game is uh, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain for the PS1. Black label complete. I think this one is like really nice condition. Yeah, overall has some fingerprints on it, but it looks it looks really nice. And the next one is a Super Nintendo game, which is Jurassic Park Part Two: The Chaos Continues. And um, I didn't like the first one that much. It wasn't up to you know my preference, but this one I checked out the gameplay. It looks more like a side school and running gun. Uh, it looks really fun. So yeah, this is definitely going to be played. All right, next these games I ended up finding out of the bin. As I said, you had like three bins. Um. Let's see this one, which I've been looking out for. This it's a shmup, and I think it's in the um, Twin B series. I think so. Yeah, Konami title Stinger for the NES. I cleaned up all the games, but I don't know that I gotta get in that between with like something sharp or something. Clean it out. Usually, when I bring the games home afterwards, I clean them. I sanitize them. Doesn't matter how clean they look. You know, you never know. And uh, yeah, I got that. Stinger for the NES. Another Stinger for the NES. Uh, which I'm going to flip. One, flip one, keep one, basically. Uh, this is the first, actually, Tengen title that I found. I hadn't came across these, but in really nice condition overall. Vindicators for Tengen. Yeah. And another Vindicators for Tengen. Keep one, flip one. Uh, next game is... Came with that sleeve, Nintendo sleeve, as you can see. Uh, Gradius. For the Nintendo. Uh, next one. Trojan, which is a Capcom title. And I love my Capcom games. I was actually looking out for this as well. Uh, next is... Uh, Data East Burger Time. This is just, I don't know. I grew up playing this as a kid. As soon as I, found, I was looking out for this as well. Oh, it's a really fun game, Burger Time. Um, next, I found, not in the greatest condition, but I had to pick it up. Uh, Maui Millard in Cold Shadow. Oh, it's, it's kind of, you know... Actually, like, sun faded looks like. The label's, like, in really bad condition overall, but definitely worth picking up. I will upgrade it if I find a better, uh, better condition one in the future. Next one is Gun Force for the Super Nintendo. A little, you know, faded here and there, discoloration, whatnot. But overall, it's, it's not bad. And next, Chameleon Twist for the N64. Um, I have part two for this. I still got to put the label on the, on the, to the top label so I could throw it on the shelf. Uh, yeah. And last, but definitely not least, Space Station Silicon Valley for the N64. Yeah. So all this... Right here, ended up getting for ninety bucks. If you add it up, it's I think it's definitely worth it. That aside, there, and then the next uh, thing that I found was this really interesting controller for the PS2, which is really nice. I like the details on it. It's a uh, Justice League, uh, I guess Superman. Uh, controller. There's Batman on it too. I'm not sure of the villains, but uh, yeah, that, it looks really clean overall. You know, has some stings on it here and there, but meaning condition-wise, it's really nice, really clean. Yeah, 
and it's it's like a it's it's really big too like the controller the buttons and the analog feel feel good well it's pretty cool i paid six bucks for this so yeah that was cool and the last thing that i picked up was uh another nes game which um I, I had been looking out for this one as well and uh they were resellers i was just walking out and i just noticed it they had like you know kind of like a glass case and uh i try to get it lower but they wouldn't budge it probably goes for as much as i paid for it or maybe more but uh, the label and everything, it's overall in really nice condition. So I ended up getting it for like 10 bucks. And it is Clash at Demon Head. Yeah. I've seen a gameplay of it. It looks pretty decent. Like a side scrolling kind of run and gun type. I don't know. But it looked, it looked pretty fun. And when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick it up. I'm going to get this. 10 bucks and uh yeah that is pretty much it got all this stuff and another video hope you guys enjoyed the video oh man hold on a second what am i doing i forgot i still gotta go show one more thing hold on oh that's good i remembered I got an eBay package. Usually I get more. I forgot about this. But, uh, yeah, here it is. It's a PS1 game, as I said before. Uh, and it is... Monkey Magic for the PS1. Black Label. Um... The guy had a price for $30 and a best offer. Um, I don't know. I offered him $18 for it. He uh, automatically accepted it. Uh, the game has a lot of scratches on it, but it had been listed. As in, uh, you know, being tested out. Uh, you know, I, I, I would have want to get it, you know, for a lot less, but... It is what it is. That's fine. And I've, like I said, I never hear about anyone uh, uh, mentioning this game or never, uh, never came across it. But I checked out the gameplay, and it looks really, really cool. Kind of like a side scroller, but it has like a like a three D background too. Uh, it, it's a really uh, fun uh, platformer, action adventure type game. Yeah, Monkey Magic. By uh, Sunsoft for the PS1, and you know, I love my PS1 games. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, thanks for watching again. This is Sam Contagious Collection. Until next time, take care.